Well, happy Veterans Day to you. It's great to have you still with us for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, do you have any veterans in your family? I sure do. I have two nephews serving in the Navy and Marines, plus my dad and father-in-law were both in the Navy. Wow. And I have uncles that were in the Navy, Air Force, and Marines. Wow. Well, my dad served in the Air Force too, so Veterans Day is a big day for both our families. And for so many others with many working hard to show their appreciation for our vets by doing things like the Oklahoma Warriors Honor Flight. The invasion was, uh, we were on one side of the island and was, uh, the actual invasion ended up being on the other side of the island. We were on the fake side <laughs> at the time. So it was a, really an April Fool's joke for them. I was, uh, I was in, in the Navy uh, on a heavy cruiser in, uh, in the Pacific. I always say South Pacific because that was where most of the the island jumping that was going on and that's where most of the activity was. I was a fire controlman, uh, a fire controlman, range finder operator. In other words, we uh, we were up in the tower and with the, where the range finder was and and, uh, and we controlled the firing of the guns the pointing, the training, the, all, the whole thing. So there's a, there's a little box up on a, on a pedestal, up on top. <laughs> so that was the job. The one thing that uh, uh, brought it into uh, reality was when I, uh, when we uh, went in uh, Nagasaki, saw the, the devastation that uh, had been done by one bomb. Of course, we didn't know all the story that went behind that. And we assumed, uh, didn't even think about continued radiation that it was there. Well, Eric uh, Proctor lives in my, uh, in my area. And he's our representative, state representative. When he got involved in uh, the uh, honor flight, it was basically because he wanted to represent his grandfather, uh, his late grandfather, he, in whom he had great respect. So uh, whenever it came around to, to have some, uh, get that first flight, at, and when I think it was out of Midwest City where we went, uh, Eric uh, had three guys, three men from, uh, our, uh, from in our area that he, took or arranged to take on the flight. Now the memorial, uh, you walk around and you look at it and you have them, uh, your, your little brochure and you explain what, what each one of them, you go to your state and every state and you see the, what, they can, what their contribution was as basically, what they, what they could add. And uh, it finally comes to light that I would tell you it, uh, it's not about me. It wasn't meant to be about me. It was meant to be about a generation of people that pulled together and was willing to give up things. So I saw it's a contribution to um, uh, our history uh, showing that what can be done when you work together and you dedicate your effort to one thing, and that was to win and get these guys back home. And uh, so it, is, it was, never was about me, and uh, even though there's a tribute to the tributes there, but the ones that, uh, that, that, that deserves a tribute are those f stars on that wall down there on the end. And uh, there's where you, there's the ones that, that are the heroes. Those are the ones that gave all that they had. And uh, so it, it, uh, it became a, a very emotional from, from then on. But that's my story. <laughs>